Hi, I'm Laura Pace. I'm here at Azel Art Supply today. I'm going to show you how to draw a breast. Now to do this kind of drawing, I use something called a litho crayon, which is a, a hard black crayon. These come in different hardnesses. But it's going to give me a lot of um, sensitivity of shades and contours. And it's a good thing for doing figure drawing with, just because you can get subtle shading with. Uh, let's see, first thing we're going to talk about is positioning the breast on the body. Um, it helps to locate the breast by drawing in some of the other body features first. So I drew in a midline, an imaginary line that goes down the center of the person's torso. And also, I know that most breasts are going to be located about one head length from the bottom of the chin to the nipple. So I sketched in this shoulder and chest area first and then I located the level of this nipple right here about one head length below the chin. And then I drew in this rounded shape for the breast. Now a breast doesn't have any muscle on its own. It's really just a sack of fatty tissue and enlarged blood vessels that are mammary glands. Uh, the breast is supported by a big muscle area group right here called the pectoral muscle. And in most females, you won't really notice that muscle, but you'd notice it in a, a muscular male. You'd see sort of a triangular shaped muscle that comes across here. So the breast is really hanging down from that muscle. And every time this muscle moves, it's going to move the breast along with it. When we look at the breast from a side, you notice it's more sack-like in formation. Its weight and roundness are on the bottom, and it really slopes up to the collarbone up here. And you can see that the areola, this rounder area, and the nipple are just kind of like a cone stuck on the side of this rounded sack. When you see a person with clothing on, you're probably not going to see the individual breast, but you're going to see it more as a shape, kind of like a rectangular plane that slopes from the collarbone here out to the nipples. And light usually is falling from overhead, so it's going to reflect onto that plane. But then there will be a shadow underneath for the rounder part of the breast, and there will probably be a cast shadow underneath that. This is another drawing I did to show you how the breast move along with the rest of the body, you can see that this person has one arm raised and this pectoral muscle is pulling this breast up while this one stays on a level. So the line that goes through the shoulder joints is going to be at the same angle exactly as the line that goes through those two nipples there. Now I suggest to get good at drawing this take some lessons in human anatomy, look at some anatomy books, draw from models and draw from photographs. It's helpful to take a piece of tracing paper and trace photographs until you get an idea of how the breasts move along with the rest of the body and where they're positioned in relation to the rest of the body. So that's what I have to tell you today about drawing breasts. Practice some on your own.